some paintings are hard to appreciate and literally hard on the eyes when viewed at a normal distance. You have to walk away from it, or in this case, zoom out. Paintings like Ibarra de la Rosa's are meant to be viewed physically, so it's best to seize the opportunity when it presents itself. But sorry if you want to see this particular work as it belongs in a private collection. Anyway, what is marvelous about de la Rosa's work is not just an optical illusion that he has created, but it teaches us how to view a painting. Usually when we approach a work of art, we look for a story, but some paintings are more difficult to find a narrative simply because there might not be one. The artist might have something else in mind that he or she wants to communicate. It's no longer the subject matter, but the abstraction of the subject matter. He or she depicts on canvas how he or she sees and feels the world and is inviting us to see and feel along with him or her. Artworks are dual in their appeal. For those who cannot paint, it's the beauty and the message. For those who can paint, they are drawn to how they are drawn and painted. In this case, it's surface texture. But not because the scale is the major draw here, it doesn't mean there's no story. However, the painter might resist coming up with stories and messages. Some works just provide them, not from narrative elements, but from the abstraction and its consequent pictorial elements, like the colors, brush strokes, the size, the distance, the blurriness, etc. De La Rosa's work is not clean, flat, and polished. He gives us a room that might be organized and neat in arrangement, but is visually busy. Even though there are no people figuring in his work, I can hear the murmurs we encounter in restaurants. His brush strokes are doing all the chattering. The room is at our eye level. It's exactly how we will view an actual room should we be about to enter. As the table is a bit low in our vision, it gives us the feeling that we are about to finish our descent from a staircase. Abstracted paintings are a bit tricky when relating to viewers because most would probably skip it and head for one that is clearer and cleaner in the eyes. Paintings like Ibarra de la Rosa's ask us to stop and spend more time than we had planned. We have to step back, we have to get up close, as in really close. We have to overcome the visual clatter that strains our eyes. Artworks like this do not ask for a one night stand but it calls for a long-term relationship as studying it demands the same level of commitment that the artist gave when creating his masterpiece, perhaps even a greater commitment. Appreciating art beyond the surface is essential. Art is essential.